See how beautiful you all are tonight. Let's look at the lights there. Let me see everybody. Wow. Do you know, 24 years maybe in Westlife? Who would have thought? Who would have thought that we would be standing here in the United States of America on St. Patrick's weekend? And you know, we've been walking around, we've met so many of you outside of the arena. Um, and I know you're from all over the world, I've seen Brazil. We've met some people from Mexico, we've met some people from the Philippines. We've met some people from the UK, we've met some people from Germany. We've met some people from America. And of course we've met a lot of you from Ireland. So I want to know a few things, I want to know, hands up, be honest now, hands up. If you had a Westlife poster on your wall when you were you young. Know. Okay, that's good. Some of the lads there is about six foot seven and he's going, yep. <laughs> Hands up if you still have a Westlife poster on your wall. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't believe it. The six foot seven guy's going, yes I do. <laughs> yeah, it's been an amazing 20 plus years. It really has, and I know through, through all of it, you guys have been there when we took a little sabbatical. You guys were there on social media, um, you know, constantly telling us and reminding us how much, you know, Westlife means to you and the music. And, you know, there's a lot of you out there who, I met a girl today who got emotional, you know, that the music had gotten her through some tough times. So, we're all in this together. We're all enjoying it. And, um, I have to say, it's important as well that we see the generations coming through because we see a lot of young people now, some of the kids there are singing the Westlife songs tonight. And even more special is some of the lads in the room are singing the Westlife songs tonight. Lads, give me a scream. Scream if you're using your Westlife for Trinity tonight. Yeah, I mean, social media because I want to film something later on and, uh, and stick it up on our, on our Instagram and stuff. But I do want to thank our families um, who are here tonight who've been through it all with us. So to, uh, to my beautiful wife Georgina and my kids, Rocco, Jay and Gia, thank you guys all of you so much. And of course, my mom who's flown over from Dublin today with my sister, my husband and kids, big shout out to those. My mother-in-law, my father, especially as well. Big shout out to those guys as well. So thank you so much to everybody here tonight. All our families are here. It's going to be one special, special, special night. Okay, right. Now, in Toronto and in Boston, and this is our 95th show, by the way, around the world. So I've been filling up in the crowd, and I've been sticking up on Instagram. Now, Boston was incredible. Did anybody see that on my Instagram? Or that doesn't sound too loud. <laughs> Who's following me on Instagram? <laughs> Who's not following me on Instagram? <laughs> How can you be six foot seven with my post on your wall and not follow me on Instagram? <laughs> Alright, you are going to follow Nikki, Keen, and Shane later on, right? Because otherwise you won't see this. Here we go. Take out your mobile phones or your cell phones as you call them over here and stick on the light, okay? The flashlight. Because what we're going to do. We're going to get everyone in the room because this is such an iconic, it's a very beautiful building, as, uh, as you guys can see. So let me see, right? Then we're going to show you, demonstrate. Right? Here we go. Right. 